Hi, I am Ryan Fernandez, Entra Software Test Engineer. Today, I would like to walk you through the integration of Microsoft Active Directory Certificate Services and Entrust EnShield HSM. To prepare for the integration of Microsoft ADCS and Entrust EnShield HSM, I perform the installation using the following recommended products and versions. It is recommended to follow the Microsoft ADCS and OCSP and Shield HSM integration guide for Microsoft Windows Server integration document to complete installation. The integration guide is located on entrust.com forward slash documentation. Although the demonstration of this integration is performed using an on-premises EndShield, this guide can also be used for EndShield as a service. To begin, install the Entrust EndShield Security World client on a domain joined Windows server before installing Microsoft Active Directory Certificate Services. After installing the Security World client, create or load an existing Security World. Register the CNG provider. Select the CNG configuration wizard. Progress through and select Use an existing Security World. Next, select a key protection type. In this example, I selected module key protection. The next step is to install ADCS, open server manager and select add roles and features. Select next. On server selection, select a server from the server pool and select next. Then select the ADCS role. Select Next. The Certificate Authority role services should be selected. Select Next. Then select Install. When the installation is complete, select the Configure Active Directory Certificate Services on the Destination Server link. On the Credentials window, make sure the administrator's credentials are displayed in the Credentials box. If not, select Change and specify the appropriate credentials. Select Next. On the Role Services window, select Certificate Authority. This is the only available selection when the certification authority role is installed on the server. Select next. On the setup type window, select the appropriate CA setup type for your requirements. On the CA type window, select root CA. Select next. On the private key window, leave the default selection to create a new private key selected, then select Next. On the Cryptography for CA window, select the appropriate EndShield cryptographic provider along with the key type, key length, and suitable hash algorithm. If OCS or soft card protection is used, select the Allow Administrator interaction when the private key is accessed by the CA option, then select Next. Give the CA a name and then a validity period. The CA database window, leave the default locations for the database and the database log files, select Next. On the confirmation window, select Configure. There may be an Encipher key storage provider wizard that prompts you to create a new key. But since I selected module protection earlier, it is not needed. Once the installation finishes, the windows can be closed. Verify that the CA service 
has started successfully by running the following command on the command line. It is in a running state. Now verify the key has been created with the following command. As you can see, it is a key that was created with module protection. This concludes the Microsoft ADCS and NShield HSM integration demo. Be sure to check ntrust.com forward slash documentation for the latest documented integrations available from NTrust.